Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Zebra Nation Plays, the FM Scout Academy Challenge with FFC Dallas. And uh, we're back again for a little first place competition, first place battle with Houston Dynamo. We're both uh, 17 games played. I've got 32 points. I got 38 points at the top of the Western Conference. Also at the top of the Supporters Shield. We just we've played them twice already. Uh, one draw, one win, but that one win was in the uh, the U.S. Cup. The last game we played, we're in the midst of a triple header here. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. Um, but yeah, Houston, we we managed to beat them 1-0, and I thought it was a pretty good game. We controlled, we controlled the game for the most part. Uh, all we did was score the one goal and then sort of sat back in counterattack and that was good enough so I guess we'll see if that'll work again against Houston um, yeah I mean we just saw them in the last game so we know we know what they're all about yeah so let's not mess around too much let's just go straight to our team here um, we got some a few changes we're gonna keep Sanchez in goal even though technically Jesse Gonzalez could play he's still not really that fit only 86% fit. He's still, I mean, he just got off injury. So I don't want to risk him at all. And Sanchez has been playing so good. You look at the schedule. And he's had, you know, five shutouts in a row. I think he played here, didn't he? Uh, no, that was Gonzalez's last game. So we've had five shutouts in a row. And Sanchez has had four of those. So, I mean, I, you can stock that up to the defense, I guess. But, I mean, the goalkeeper's got something to do with that. He's the one who gets <clears throat> he's the one who gets the shutout on his record. So, you know, he's been playing well. There's no doubt about it. So there's no need to rush Gonzalez back. Um, and speaking of coming back, we've got Cole and Escobedo both back. Cole coming off of suspension. Excuse me, Escobedo coming off of a... Uh, Stint with the U.S. national team. Uh, we're going to start Eaton and uh, Wang Yuen at the central defense. Uh, you know, when, uh, Yuen came from our academy last season, got a little bit of playing time. He's got a lot of potential, but we don't have a ton of room for him um, currently in our lineup. He's only 19 years old, so we got a couple of seasons to groom this guy. But in the meantime, we need him. So we're playing him, and he's a natural left footer, so that helps us uh, on the left side of our defense. Mike Eaton, a uh, draft pick from a couple of seasons ago, Generation Adidas player, 22 years old now. Um, he's going to need to start getting some more playing time and coming into his own. We're going to keep Van de Castile at defensive midfielder. He's play. He's got. Uh, you know, he's pretty fit. You know, he just played last game, but he's still at 91% fitness, so he's got that natural fitness going for him. Then we're going to bring in Uloa off of his injury uh, time. He's he's pretty much fully fit now. I don't think I don't think there's a time limit on this guy, but his stats are gone down a little bit. 29 years old. Uh, you know, he's uh, he's getting up there in age, but he's still a very productive player. Going to play him at the ball-winning midfielder. Paxton Pomico going to bring him back for a stint. Uh, Ross Gonzalez, our uh, draft pick this season, number one draft pick at the advanced playmaker role. And then we got Alcantara and Washington also back from international play. Washington is happy to get his first international cap, so good on him. And that's the team. So let's go forwards. Got a lot of guys lacking match fitness, but hopefully they can pull it off. You know, Houston should be experiencing some of the same issues. We just played them, and uh, I don't think they played a fully rotated side. They could have had some, but uh, I'm going to send my assistant coach to talk to that guy. Uh, looks like the same formation, so that's no problem. We'll give our uh, uh, apply advice to the team. We'll close down on the striker. Uh, they do have a couple of new names in here. Bae Jong Hyung. At the striker, uh, let's see, South Korean. Yep, he's pretty good. 19 dribbling, 17 finishing, 16 pace. Got to watch out for that guy. Only 21 years old. Wow, he's really good. All right, he definitely wasn't there last time. 
Uh, Torres, Lawrence, Morales are all guys we got to look up for. Guillermo Pateco. Don't really recognize many of these other names. They're Brad Guzan in goal again. So a little bit of a rotated side. Looks like they brought in a couple more of their starters. So we might be in for a uh, little bit of trouble here, but we'll see. Um, we'll go back to our counterattack. That seemed to work pretty well against them last time. So we'll continue that. And there we go. Start the match. Start the match. There we are. Back at home again. FC Dallas. This time we got a sellout. Sellout crowd for the El Capitan Derby versus Houston. Here we go. We start off with possession. Pomichol hasn't started in about 10 games, so he's a little rusty, but hopefully he remembers how to play this game. Uloa, likewise, hasn't started uh, since the preseason. So he's definitely rusty. Could be uh, could be some adventurous times here. Here we go. First highlight free kick from Houston. Houston is in the purples, by the way. We're in the home reds, the white shorts. Got to watch this guy. Okay, good good tackle. Um, our defense is a tad unorganized. How are we looking structurally here? Let's go structured for these boys. Got a lot of youngsters in the game right now. There's Young Young. Got to keep an eyeball on him or two or ten. Uh, offsides from Washington. We go Gonzalez with the corner. Washington gets a head on it, but it goes wide. See, people say being 6'6 six, six doesn't help, but he got that over the goalkeeper. You don't see many, many players get a header over top of a goalkeeper. I think being 6'6 six six has something to do with, but do with it, and you can't tell me otherwise. Here's El Cantara with a free kick. Off the wall, we're going to get a throw in out of that. Somebody from Houston got beaned in the head pretty good there. All right, they're continuing the highlight. This is good news for us. You low with the throw in. Mount Cole gets it intercepted. And Houston's starting the counterattack. Oh boy, Young is going to try to go right through our entire defense. He goes around one, goes around two. Fires off the shot. Guy, that guy. Gotta watch him. <laughs> See, this is one of our disadvantages of not having uh designated players you know we can't go out and get a guy like that from south korea oh there's eaton with the header off the side we've got to build our own players of that caliber now i think if you look at our strikers in terms of washington and alcantara we're pretty close we're not quite as good as that guy but we got two of them and they've only got one and our guys are pretty close to that caliber. They're at least good enough to both get called up to the national team. Here's Pomichol sending it deep for Alcantara. Here's our two men working together. Washington sends it forward to Pomichol. Can he get it out wide? No, he sends it back. Sends it back to Van de Castile. There's Washington with a shot. Hearing those noises again. I don't like it. Um, all right, here we go. Gonzalez, if you paid attention to the last video, I was hearing phantom noises, hearing them again. Every time I put on the headphones, maybe there's something wrong with the headphones. Anyway, here's Pomichol. Wang Yuen, Alcantara, he's fouled in the box. Oh, they're going to place it right up just outside of the box. Yep. Half an inch outside the box. Here's Gonzalez with a free kick. That's, uh... Not our goalkeeper, Gonzalez. That's our advanced playmaker, Gonzalez. Our Gonzalez. What's his first name? Ross. Interesting name. Torres sends it in. Sanchez grabs it nicely. I'm surprised how steady Sanchez has been in goal. I mean, he has gotten hardly any playing time, and then he comes in and has just played fabulously. Here's El Cantar getting forward to Gonzalez. Gets it stolen in the box. He should have taken that shot one step sooner. But, uh, you know, he's not a striker. What are you going to do? Although, he would have been our backup striker had I not signed uh, that player from uh, from the academy. 
last game. So he would have been our backup striker just because he can kind of play that position. But, uh, you know, we didn't need him because we made that emergency signing. But still, he should be able to score some goals. He's got 11 finishing. That's pretty good. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to ignore the noises. It's just the wind. It's just the wind. Tell yourself it's just the wind. Okay. Um, you know, this is how the last game against them went. 0-0 zero, zero, halftime. Back and forth game a little bit. Our counter, our counter game is working just fine. There's a nice steal from Washington. He can't follow it up, though. It's a nice aggressiveness on his part. We don't have a lot of yellow cards or any yellow cards, so that's good. Got a couple of tired guys out there. Escobedo, Van de Castile, but not, not uh, critical at this moment. It's a free kick from Morales. Over the net, that's fine. I'm sure our fans here at uh, Toyota Stadium are a little anxious. A little bit anxious, but we saw this... <clears throat> excuse me, we saw this in the previous match. It was a very tight game going up until, I think it was 80th minute when we scored. Somewhere around there. Oh, Escobedo can't get the steal. Good defense, though. Our young uh, central defenders are, are hanging tight. There's Cole on the run all by his lonesome. Let's see if he can get it out wide to Escobedo and then get back to his position. Oh, there's a foul. Easy, easy call on that one. Just kicked him right in the shin. <clears throat> all right. Hmm. Williams on the throw. And they're getting far too many highlights. Sanchez gathers it in, though. Good man. Let's uh, take a drink of water here and try to clear up the froggy throat. Not really working. Oh, Washington heads it forward to Alcantara. That's so big. Come on, Alcantara. You can do it. Off the post or off the net. <clears throat> I mean, that's what Washington gives us, man, that target. He's the perfect target, man. You just send it down high. Ooh, Sanchez has to make a save. Send a high ball down there, and he can just head it on, and Alcantara can try to finish it. All right, here we go, Lawrence. A header by Uloa back to his uh, natural position there. Oh, they get it back out to Lawrence. This is dangerous. Good defense there by Uloa. Our defense is playing well. Definitely playing strong. Free kick from Lawrence, sending it in, and Sanchez is there. That's a good man. Got the uh, Orlando, New York game on in the background nice sunny day there in florida actually it's a pretty sunny day here too here's gonzalez with the free kick or the corner kick that is uh the header bounced around in the box dominguez gathers it gathers it in here comes houston on the counter attack the one-man counter attack here beijing young oh boy oh what was that how do you score at that angle? That's ridiculous. It's when that uh, limited aerial reach sort of comes back and haunts him. Look at that angle. Oh, man. That's ridiculous. So that's the first goal I've seen. Well, that's the first goal he's given up, honestly. Oh, he's got 15 aerial reach, 13 jumping reach. I mean, he's fine. Who was I thinking about? This is a different guy. Six foot two. He should have got that. That's all there is to it. All right, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta pause and take some check tactical changes here. This is the exact. This is the reverse of what happened in the uh, M in the U.S. Cup game, where we scored late, and then Houston didn't make any adjustments. So we need to make some serious adjustments here. First of all, we got some tired folks. Got Escobedo, Van de Castile, Uloa, Washington, all tired. So, um, Escobedo definitely coming out. We're going to bring in Acosta for that. I think we're going to have to leave Cole in there. We don't really have a great option at right back. I could bring in Johnson, but he's, uh, he's a defensive fullback, not an offensive fullback. We're going to leave him there. Then I think 
comes down to Uloa or Van de Castile. Who do we take out? I think we take Uloa out just to, um, even though he's got the captain's armband right now, uh, we need to take him out just to save him in case uh, something bad happens to him. You know, he is just coming off that injury, and I don't want to press his luck. So uh, I'm going to bring in Guevara, since he can play either of those positions. Bring Guevara in, and then I don't want to bring out Washington for Kraft, considering how bad, poorly Kraft has been playing. So we'll leave Washington in for a, a, a bit longer. Uh, I'm going to change the instructions as well. I'm going to go on the attack here. Be more expressive. Be more flexible. Uh, and get stuck in. We're just going to go for it here. Going to go for it. Uh, I'm not going to talk to those guys. Uh, they don't need it. They should know what they got to do at this point. Uh, and let's hit play. That's good. All right, 81 minutes down. Don't have a lot of time left. Nah, 10 minutes and change here. Alcantara with the steal. Let's see if he can get it to somebody. Pomichol. Guevara with the shot. You know, for a guy who plays defensive midfielder, he actually has pretty good long-range shooting. I think it's like a 13 or so. If I remember, you know, 16 long shots, so... I mean, he's a, he's a bit of a weapon there from central midfield, Guevara. All right, so now I'm going to bring Kraft in for Washington. Just, you know, try to get some kind of boost down there. We got one minute to go and then two minutes of stoppage time. So see if just getting some fresh legs on the field in the last couple minutes can do anything for us. Does not appear that way. Here we go. Here's the loss. So they return the favor for us. We win the, the U.S. Cup game, but they win the regular season game, which could be more important in the grander scheme of things. Um, don't look back. You were just unlucky there. All right, everybody buys that. So there we go. We go down another three points to Houston. Down nine points to Houston. So that's not good. Um, you know, that's a full three victories. So we got to get this one back. Our next next match against Houston is going to be very pivotal, pivotal if we're ever going to win that supporter shield from them. Um, good behavior award for Escobedo. Good man. Uh, uh, it must be tough for players to see Houston celebrate there. How do you think it will affect your team? Uh, it's tough to watch, but the luck... Um, uh, the players will bounce back. Sure they will. They're strong players. A uh, result like that against such fierce rival must hurt your pride. We're disappointed but not disheartened. Many positives to take from that. And unfortunate. Um, I don't know. He played well. Whatever. Who cares? I don't know who that is. I don't remember him in that game. So I'm not too excited about answering questions about him. All right. So... That's it. Coming up next, I guess we'll play the the final game there against Houston. Then we got a U.S. Cup of game versus Philadelphia that we got to get ready for. So it's a tight schedule. It's definitely a packed schedule for us coming up in the next few days. So get ready for that. All right. See you then. Bye.